You definitely believe these myths, but it's time to disprove them. Oxygen on Earth comes from trees. If you ask anyone you meet where the oxygen in our planet's atmosphere comes from, they will probably answer, it's produced by trees. Those who are especially pumped up in geography will add that tropical jungles, those in the Amazon basin are the lungs of the planet. Trees are certainly important, and we should plant as many of them as possible, but they are not the main source of life-giving O2. In reality, land plants produce only a third of the oxygen on our planet, and its main volume, more than 70%, is formed thanks to phytoplankton, kelp and algal plankton. It is the tiny plant microorganisms living in the oceans that are the source of oxygen for us. Therefore, water pollution threatens to reduce the amount of this gas in the atmosphere. There are palm trees that can walk. There is such a plant, Socratia dendrota. This is a palm tree that grows in the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. It differs from other brothers, trees in that its roots stick out above. The soil and the trunk begins not underground but above it. On the internet, this palm tree is regularly called the only plant in the world that can move. Well, there are representatives of the plant world that, for example, turn depending on the position of the sun or catch a fly with their leaves. So why shouldn't there be trees that can up and leave when they are not satisfied with the conditions in the place where they grow? The idea is funny, but Socratea dendrota cannot walk. This story appeared in 1980 thanks to the botanist John Bodley, he suggested that the palm grows new roots and the old ones rot away so much that it actually moves from its place. It was just a hypothesis, not connected with reality. But local guides in Costa Rican parks picked it up and started telling tourists that their palm trees walk. The myth was debunked by another botanist, Benjamin Radford. He proved that palm trees do not walk, even when they think that no one is looking at them and such long roots are needed to grow upwards more successfully, reaching the light without increasing the thickness of the trunk and using less biomass during its formation. If you pick up food from the floor quickly, bacteria won't have time to get on it. You've probably heard a lot of proverbs like, what was picked up quickly is not considered dropped. If you dropped food but then quickly picked it up, no harmful microbes from the floor could have gotten on it. This concept is also called the five second rule. In fact, even short-term, contact with a surface covered with microbes is enough to contaminate food. This was experimentally verified in 2003 by microbiologist Gillian Clark from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Another thing is that the floor of an average home kitchen, as a rule, does not contain such dangerous strains of bacteria that eating picked up food would lead to serious illnesses. But it's better not to take risks in public catering establishments. Beer contains female hormones. It is known that beer contains hops, which in turn contains phytoestrogen, a plant analog of the female hormone estrogen. Because of this, some authors on the internet, especially healthy lifestyle advocates, are fiercely against the beer, assuring that it can make a man effeminate. And it is true. People who abuse alcohol gain excess weight and their breasts begin to sag. Everything fits together, but this is a myth. The hormone contained in beer hops is much weaker than human estrogen, and to change the hormonal background, its dose is not enough. You will have to drink at least a tank or two of beer, so the yi jiu person will die sooner from alcohol poisoning. In addition, phytoestrogen is found in large quantities in nuts and oil seeds as well as cereals, legumes, tofu, oats, barley, lentils, rice, and other plant foods. People who drink beer get fat, as do lovers of other alcoholic beverages. Because firstly, alcohol slows down fat burning, and secondly, it stimulates appetite. And the female, hormones in hops have nothing to do with it. There is a special sound that makes people empty their bowels, it is known that infrasound at high volumes has a negative effect on people. It causes anxiety, nausea, vision problems, anxiety, and can even make you see ghosts. But that's not the worst thing. You can find claims on the internet that there is a special sound in the range between 5 and 9 hertz that makes people who hear it involuntarily defecate. It was allegedly discovered during tests for US astronauts who accidentally stained their clothes due to the vibrations of rocket engines. Wits called this sound the brown note, 
They even made an episode about it in South Park. But in fact, this is also a myth. During the development of rockets as part of the space program in the United States, tests were actually conducted on the effects of infrasound on people in the range from 0.5 to 40 hertz, and its overly long influence led to dizziness, nausea, nervousness, and temporary disorientation. But no one soiled their pants. 